So recently, I had heard that there was some news on the Slidell front. If you're not sure who the Slidell family is, it consists of old Tofia Chu you see on screen here, Papa Chu, who's one of the craziest characters I've ever seen on the internet, Mama Chu, Brother Chu, but the two we always really focus on is Tofia and Papa. And just about a year ago, actually on July 4th of last year, I dropped a video on this family, and it's one of the more popular videos I've ever done. And for good reason, because this this is just one of the craziest families I've ever seen in my life. And for a while there, we really had nothing to talk about when it came to Papa Chu. Tofia would go live every night, constantly making a fool out of herself. But now, we have a little bit to talk about with both of them, and we're gonna do that today. Now, with Tofia, I had heard that she's been having some freakouts recently, mostly because she lost her dog Hershey. And she's sad because instead of helping her, the internet is admonishing her for not taking good care of her pets. Now, knowing Tofia, she probably hasn't gone out and done anything to look for this dog, but again, because the internet is calling her out on it and not just patting her ass and telling her everything's gonna be okay, she's not cool with it, and she blames everybody else for her problems. So I was looking into more stuff about Tofia, and I stumbled on a live stream she was doing just the other night, and right when I clicked on it, she was talking about old channel favorite, everybody's favorite, Nova Online, because of course these two have had history in the past they don't like each other at all but then she randomly starts ranting about leslie clark another notorious tiktok predator uh tofia tofia loves pointing out everybody else's flaws but never talking about her own and she's about to do that here she mentions like so so many people in the span of like three minutes and these are all like pretty horrible people uh, for the most part she's gonna mention others that i don't even know who they are but it's so wild to see tofia somebody who was accused of having so many skeletons in their own closet call out anybody and everybody but that's all these tiktok people do they always point the finger and go you're worse than me no you're worse than me you all suck you're all terrible and this is just this is just some tiktok version of girl world bullshit multiple minors trigger warning and diapers and told people to dox me and literally threatens me a lot well he used to i don't know if he still does his friend supposedly i don't know if that was his friend on instagram asked me if i would team up with him to take these trolls down i'm not gonna team up with him he got himself docs he literally leaked his credit card information and they bought stuff with his money he waved the katana around threatening people saying come to my house and see what happens but yeah anyways that's nova they were both in the Discord that doesn't like me. Now, Leslie admitted on live because when I called her out, she admitted I was right and said, uh, Tofi, well, I don't know why Tofi, they all were in the box. Isaac, Roach Chula, oh, there's this Roach Chula girl. We gotta get into her too, so. And she admitted to everyone, she told everyone, this is on Reddit, there's a video of it, and literally said, um, they said, I don't know why she keeps talking about you and talking about this, it's old. Her accuser came to me to help expose her, which I did. And he lost his account and she still has hers up. And she never apologized. You know what she said in that video? Well, they were all sitting in the box with Chula, Isaac and all of them. She said the police said they can't do anything. Thank you for the corgi because the person turned 18 and there's nothing they could do. So you mean because the person turned 18 that now that they're an adult, they can't do something about something you did when they were a minor? That's not how the law works. You know, you can still prosecute people even if someone turns 40. There are some laws where it's too late if you turn 40, but there are some laws because some people don't realize what happens, what happened to them trigger warning until years later then when they realize it they try to get justice so um leslie um friend leslie was friends with pleasant too and pleasant turned her back on leslie because i exposed leslie and pleasant wanted to be like whoa whoa, whoa. now i'm gonna expose leslie because but pleasant had beef with lovely peaches because lovely peaches said pleasant had man boobs 
that's a whole thing. Jesus, I'm, I'm kind of invested in this now. Like, it goes from this person to this person to Lovely Peaches is now involved. This pleasant person is apparently just a horrible other other individual too. Like, I'll reiterate what I just said. All these people suck. And if you wonder why people hate Tothea, it's because she got caught looking up Asian teen, like, on a bunch of NSFW websites. And there's probably going to be other stuff that people let me know down in the comments below. So keep an eye out down there. But, like, I'm, I'm not too sure about Tothea. Fia's allegations for the most part. I know that she has a very weird thing with the aforementioned Asian teens. Again, all I know is that everybody she mentioned right there, with the exception of the dude Isaac and the Rose Chula person, <laughs> Rose Chula, like, what are the names of these people in the Tofia 2 universe? But I digress. For the most part, everyone she brought up there is a creep, and that's Tofia's MO, just pointing out the other creeps, saying I have evidence and I took them down, but she never wants to bring up the stuff that people call her out for. And another thing I've noticed about Tofia in the short time that I've watched like her content specifically is that she is absolutely a fake activist. She does not stand for what she claims to believe in. And you are about to see that now in what I think is one of the <laughs> the funniest clips I may have ever seen. And I'm not I'm not saying that to you guys just to hype this up to get you excited. Like I was watching this last night. I was out smoking a cigarette and my jaw dropped when I saw just just the complete 180 this clip takes. I'm not going to give you any context. I'm just going to show you it. You guys can make your own assumption. But let me show you the great, the great American freedom fighter, Tofia Chu, and her boycott against McDonald's and how well it goes. But before we do that, let me set the scene here because Tofia is streaming and then randomly she mutes the mic. That's because a DoorDash driver has arrived at her house and she doesn't want anything to be doxxed, despite people already knowing like exactly where she lives. So of course, because Tofia, being the lazy person she is, won't get up and go answer the door herself, she hears the knocking and waits for Mama Chu to get up, who by the way is sitting in the back of the room coughing her lungs out the entire time this is going on, and then they realize that it is, yes, a DoorDash order, and it is already paid for. Now, do you think they're going to deny deny some free McDonald's? No, you could tell the guy, just leave, walk away, we don't want it. But no, they grab the bag, and then Tofia decides to show it off on camera like you're seeing there. And then eventually, she unmutes the mic and starts talking about how they are not, <laughs> they're not going to eat this McDonald's. They said stupid McDonald's, and McDonald's is being boycotted. It's a McCoffee, a hot and spicy, and some fries. It's medium fries. I'm not gonna eat it. I mean, McDonald's is being boycotted. It is a hot and spicy. I don't like spicy stuff I can't have. Oh, man. So a little bit. It's a McSpicy. What's nice? So they sent her a McSpicy, which is a spicy McChicken sandwich, and a medium fries and a coffee. And Tofia Chu has said twice now that yes, she will not eat this McDonald's because they are being boycotted. Tofia stands on her beliefs, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you expect this woman to switch up? I can't have anything spicy because I have heartburn acid reflux. Plus, McDonald's is being boycotted. Yes, it's a mixed spicy. Who cares? Well, I do because they're being boycotted. Still eat it. Well, I didn't pay for it, so. This <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch. She, she switched up so fast in the same sentence that she mentions boycotting McDonald's for the fourth time, may I add. She, she just starts chowing down on some fries. 
bitch. This is phenomenal. She she does not she does not give a shit about this boycott. She does not even know why they're being boycotted. Probably I don't know why they're being boycotted. People decide to go against restaurants all the time for the places that fund them or the things they donate to. And yes, if you do believe in that, stand on what you believe in. That's fine. It's good to believe in something, but don't sit here and act so passionately and try to go no well they're being boycotted i can't do it and in the same breath start just housing some french fries <laughs> but again she didn't pay for it so who cares it's not like she's supporting them all she's gonna do is enjoy these these hot crispy french fries um and and, and she's gonna go about her day i'll eat her i'm not gonna throw these fries away okay they're just spamming l type flags I'm not gonna go and sub only for that. I'm not mad. Of course, free Palestine, but I'm not the one who paid for this. They sent a rose toy, which we didn't get it because my brother told the driver that um, we didn't order DoorDash, so he took it. Which you can deliver toys through DoorDash because I've had them send that before from the Discord. Oh, okay, I see. So when they deliver you something like a sex toy, you will clearly tell them, take it back, I do not want it, because that's something you can do when a DoorDash driver shows up and tries to bring you something you don't want, which is something you clearly could have done with this boycotted McDonald's, but no siree, you know you wanted them fries. I mean, she's still enjoying them as we're sitting, <laughs> we're sitting right here talking about this. And also, I've cut out a lot of this stream because it's a lot of just copywritten music playing and then Tofia complaining about the trolls, but she says the words trigger warning so many times, it becomes a running joke at this point. Trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning, or trigger warning. It, it, it's a very, very triggering topic this part. This is a dick cookie. There is literally people that don't have food right now. And if it's edible, so that's the excuse she's gonna go with. Guys, listen, there are people in this world who are starving right now. You know, world hunger is a serious problem. So who the hell am I to deny this, <laughs> to deny the boycotted McDonald's at my front door? Now, I think she believes because she's not gonna eat the spicy McChicken that she's doing, like she's not doing that bad. You know, the fries are one thing. They're not, those fries aren't that anti-Palestinian, but that spicy McChicken, that, that iced coffee, they may as well be fighting for the IDF. She's so quick to try to not offend anybody, to try to be on the right side of everything. And again, if that's what you really believe in, then fight for it, stand for it. But Tofia is somebody who I've seen so many times try to use whatever hot button issue is like a really big thing at the time to defend herself and to try to use as something to get criticism off her back. It's something that's a constant whenever I watch Tofia. She's so quick to call everybody else racist and this and that, but she's someone who herself has said horrible things about Mexican people before. Tofia's your run-of-the-mill hypocrite, and she has a lot of people who just mess with her constantly, and honestly, it's the it's the standard characteristic of every locale. You can't be a locale and not have just a big group of people fucking with you on a daily basis, and best believe that's exactly what's going on with Tofia. That's why she's always bitching about reddits and discords, just classic locale activity. But somebody who's not dealing with that, somebody who just got out of jail, and we now have their arrest footage after all this time, is her dear father, Papachu. Now, Papachu, again, is one of the creepier individuals I've ever covered on this channel. He said some horrible things, and just last year was arrested on kidnapping charges. Now, I'm not sure whatever came of this. He was in jail for quite a while and was only recently released, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. Now, in this footage of him being arrested, it seems like Brother Chu or somebody else in the house had called the police because Papa Chu had been acting crazy, and once they got there, they informed the family of the warrant out for his arrest and that they would not be leaving without him. So, before I play that, I just want to show you a few clips of Papa Chu himself from the video I did on him and Tofia last year, because you need to get a little bit of an idea about just who this guy is before you see this, uh, this footage here. Yeah, but question, does Tofia work? Oh yeah, she, she, um, well, it's on and off at Walmart, and then she do her life. You didn't know that, did you? Can she do a backflip? Can, can Sophia do a backflip? Yeah. 
Of course you can do a backflip. You know that. <laughs> Too mad at Papachi. You don't ask me for anything else anymore. I told you you were not to go live. And I screenshot a lot of stuff that Sophia smell. And you say nothing. My wife is upset because you are attacking Tofia and attacking her. Please don't do that, guys. I understand how you feel, but don't don't attack Tofia and don't attack God Marie. Please. Freaky with the viewers. I will Again. cut your live off. What happened? Stop sticking your tongue out to the ladies, okay? Okay, okay. No, that's, okay. that's all you have to say. You're a fucking asshole. That's all you have to say, Maria. That's dirty shit. That's all you have to say. Just say stop sticking your tongue out. Okay? Okay. The reason, the reason why I didn't go to court is that, is that I was on social media I'm making love to a girl. The white man in government throughout the world, I have no use or utility, utility for that type of ignorance and, stabil and uh, stupidity. And stupidity. Remove yourself or be removed and then kill yourself and your family and your friends and all your associates so yeah the dude is out there he hates the white man he hates the police in this body cam footage you're about to see you'll see a lot of green crosses on the wall and he puts them up with green tape because he believes it will keep the white man and the police away from his house and in this occasion it did not work so those crosses were all for naught papa Chu also likes to get like really weird with people on his lives he would do these tiktok live streams like doing kissy faces at people it was a very disturbing thing to watch especially when you remember that his wife was most likely watching these things too just in the other room and she would come in there yell at him he'd say all right all right i understand i'll stop and then go right back to it a second later and then you got tofia Chu, who's trying to have like a big bustling online career herself and she constantly has to deal with her dad getting like on calls with her own detractors and stuff like this the dude is just he is batshit insane he has another clip of himself saying that you know, he wants prostitution to be legal and he talks about the age of consent and it's some pretty odd stuff. Like again, the dude is not, he's not a good person. And obviously if you have a warrant out for your arrest for kidnapping, it kind of goes without being said right there. But with all that out of the way, now I can show you some of this body cam footage and it's pretty interesting because he doesn't seem like, like, like let me, let, let me get this out of the way now. He is crazy. I'm never going to make it like a, an argument for him not being out of his mind mind but there are parts in here where you can kind of see him snap back to reality a little bit but that's only because i think he realizes like the severity of the situation so let me just show you it now and you're gonna see it from when they actually show up at the house you can see them show up there talking to brother chu mama chu tofia chu and they ask them to leave so that they can go in there and get papa chu out and there's going to be a lot of this that might be a little hard to see because they go in there guns a blazing and i'm not sure what youtube's whole like uh what their policy is on me showing a cop with a gun drawn on papa chu but that's what's going on here yeah, if you if you want us to come in that, that's okay it's your residence i'm not going to force my way in i just no i just don't want i don't know what, what he'll do if, you know you guys come in like i welcome it but i just don't know what he'll do on your hand okay can you hear it can you know, sit down yeah awesome okay. just my sister okay. grab her okay. how are you i'm okay you okay i i don't hear at all i'm sorry Go okay ahead. Okay, so we're here to check on Donald Sr. to make sure he's doing okay. Um, somebody called and reported he's having some mental stuff going on, so you want to talk to him. Oh, you just want to talk to him? For now, yeah. Just, uh, is there a reason? Just to see if everything's okay? I'm sorry, I didn't get there. Your sister's coming out as well? Yeah. Is there any firearms in the house? 
Thank you. I think Bipolar, we can have weapons in the house. Okay. And you have one dog that's not in the That's it. Do you need the dog up? No, I think the dog's okay. Is it friendly? No. No, it's not friendly. It likes to bark. Uh, it won't bite us up. It, it will come at you, but I don't know if it'll bite. If you want to put it in my room. Is there a camera or something where you can put it in? I can put it in my room. Yeah, she can. Thank you. So, here's kind of what's going on a little bit. So, we're obviously, we're here to do a walk or check on him. Yeah. Okay. Um, he also does have a felony warrant out for his arrest. So, we're not leaving. We're going to try to obviously get him out so, of here peacefully. So, either way, he has to go. Yes. He's, yeah, he needs to go, but I don't want him to be mad with you guys because you didn't do it. So, that's why we got everybody out of the house because we, we need to make sure that you guys are all safe as well. Um, but he is going to be coming with us regardless of how that happens. Yeah. So as I already mentioned, you can hear the cops right there telling the family that they're not leaving without Papa Chu. And smartly, they're not like protesting this at all. I bet you somewhere deep down Mama Chu wants to, but Brother Chu is completely understanding about this. Tofia Chu was just trying to get her mom out of there. And yeah, it's about to be time for the cops to go in there and go get old Papa Chu. So what you'll notice as they go in is the green cross on the door. Now, you may not be able to see it, but there's also some green crosses on the ground right there. I think the cop's stepping on one. Yeah, you can kind of make it out there. But finally, they make their way into the house, and you can get a good view of the Tofia Chu residence. More, uh, more green crosses on the wall. A bunch of, like, 12 packs of Sprites and 24 packs of Dr. Peppers on the floor. I'm sorry, not Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew. That's a Nova Online thing. It's amazing. You can get all these little cats made. Mixed up. But as the cops are standing here, Papa Chu is at the other end of the hallway, and I mean, the one cop is there on the corner, has his gun drawn. You can see more of these crosses on the wall, and now I'm just going to show you the uh, the mini standoff between the police and Papa Chu. Donald, I need you to come out, okay? Please, why are you? You mean to take it after you leave? Yes, I did. The police department, you have a warrant for your arrest. I need you to step out, okay? Come over here, Donald. Uh, I can't do that. You have a warrant. I can't do that. <clears throat> you do not comply. Force will be used against you. This is Albuquerque Police Department. We're police officers. You are under arrest. You're not free to leave. Okay? We need you to comply with us. We don't want to have to use force against you. 40. You have a You have a warrant for your arrest. For what? Kidnapping. For kidnapping. For kidnapping who? I don't know. We'll talk about it. Okay? But you have right now, take your hands out of your pockets and step forward. I need, to, I need to put my pants on. Donald, you need to follow our commands. You need to come out now. If you don't follow our commands, force may be used against you. Again, we're officers of APD. We need you to follow our commands and we can ensure your safety. But at this point, you're not free to leave. And if you don't follow our commands, force is going to be used and we don't want to hurt you. Do you understand? Show me your hand. Now here's that part of the video I was saying is like Papa Chu's one big moment of clarity. Cause obviously the dude is not in his right mind telling the police, ah, oh, I can't really do that right now, can't be arrested. But he's about to mention the family. And when he does, Papa Chu just waltzes right up to them and lets him arrest him. The same man who has green crosses in his house to signify like anti-police activity decides as soon as their names are uttered that, yep, best to just give it up, let the family get back in here because he is a psycho. He does not show respect to these people like in any sense. Just based on those videos I just showed you, the kissy faces towards random women not defending Tofia Chu, but somewhere deep down, besides all that craziness, probably is a little bit of love for his family. So when he hears that, again, he just gives it all up. Your family's outside in the cold. Okay. Thank you. It's in your hands, Donald. Face away from us. Stop right there. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I need a cigarette. We'll, okay. get, we'll get you another one, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Donald. I really appreciate you cooperating. We'll let your family come right back in. Okay? I just... We want to keep everybody safe. And this is the best way to do it. Thank you. And I have cigarettes in my car. 
I will say, though, he does not listen to their commands at all. The cops tell him to face away from them, to show his hands, and he basically just walks up with his hands at his side, just bolting right towards them. But again, it's because he's like, all right, it's time to give it up, and he's not thinking straight. Papa Chu never does. You can see them here. They finally have him uh, They have him detained. What a poetic picture that is, Papa Chu being detained right next to one of his, like, one of his green crosses, and then they guide him outside. And again, at some point here, he mentions that he just wants to see his family. And once he turns his head and sees them, right back to the police car he goes, like nothing's stopping him. Where's my family? We're right there. We're in the parking lot. We just told him they can go back inside. Oh, okay. Where's my family? Where's my family? And that was the final few moments of Papa Chu's freedom from last year. You can find this full body cam footage over on the Chu Crew Archive channel. It's a uh, it's a pretty long watch, but you get to see Papa Chu down there at the uh, at the precinct getting um just getting checked in. He asks for his Bible. They tell him he can get it later. He doesn't seem to really understand that concept and wants it right here, right now. And you also get to see a little bit more of the family here, like Big Toaf and Mama Chu coming over to the police, just being told they can go back inside. It's kind of an interesting watch. But he's out of jail now, Papa Chu, and there is no telling what he's going to do next. Is he going to move back in with the family? You'd think that would be the case, considering it is his family. But knowing how crazy he is, they might not even want him back there. I mean, look, if they didn't kick him out back when he was doing all this stuff, like, as it was happening, him going on lives with Tofia's ops making fun of her, him just being completely unfaithful towards his wife to a bunch of Instagram and TikTok hoes, like, they would have kicked him out right then and there. So maybe they will let Papa Chu back in. But the thing is, do they let him have access to a phone again? Clearly, he's gonna be the man of the house. If he wants one, he'll go out and get one. He'll find a way, Papa Chu. But... They they gotta do whatever they can to keep him from getting on the internet because we've seen the clips. He is one of the most like crazy unhinged individuals out there. I didn't even begin to show you guys his Twitter where he really would go off. And Papa Chu with like internet access is something that's like wild to see, but it's something that I'd rather not see. The dude needs to get help. The dude should be institutionalized. But if he's gonna be back on the streets, I, I don't know what the hell people are gonna do. He will eventually be back in my opinion but until that day comes we'll have to see it Tofi is definitely going to try to stop him because she always feels so embarrassed whenever he's doing this type of stuff online rightfully so but it's not like Tofi who doesn't do embarrassing stuff of her own this entire family is just a circus act and I would love to do a video on Mama Chu and Brother Chu as well but every time I sit down to talk about him it always comes back to old Papa and Tofi because they are the real stars of the show here but Papa Chu being back out man is just something that i didn't think was going to happen when i heard it was a kidnapping charge i really thought he was going to be looking at like daniel larson style time but no he's out and whenever this guy gets back online or anything comes out about him you bet your ass we'll be covering it here on the channel now, when it comes to Tofia, Tofia is constantly getting into different dramas with different TikTok creators and all that. And with the mentions of Nova online and Nova even mentioning Tofia, I could see an easy, like, an easy back and forth happening between the two sooner rather than later. It's going to be interesting to see where all these people end up over the next couple months. But again, when we get there, we get there. So I hope you guys stay tuned to the channel because we got a lot of crazy shit to cover in the meantime. I should have a new video on Chris Chan out in the next few days. I want to eventually have the Best of King Cobra Part 2 with Kiwi Tapes here on the channel. It's going to be a lot of good content coming up soon. So I thank you guys for sticking by and chilling with me the entire time. It means the world to me, man. And until I see you guys in the next one, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.